It is relaxing, enjoyable, and fun to go fishing. However, before you head out to the lake to cast the line and catch the biggest fish of your life, it is important to know what types of fishing rods are available. There are several types of fish nets, each designed to handle a different species, location, and operation. If you want a seamless fishing experience, learn more about the types of fishing rods and when each type of rod is used. It will help you make an informed decision when you want to expand your fishing rod collection. The following are 8 different types of fishing rods that every true fisherman should have. Let's get started. At number 1 is fly rods. This is the fishing rod you need if you are interested in fly fishing. Fly rods come in different shapes and sizes, but all of them are designed for fly fishing. When you fix the line and bait on the rod, you will find that the rods are flexible and fly back and forth. They are usually used for smaller fish species that live in freshwater bodies. Fly rods can, however, be used for bigger species, as long as you buy bigger rods. You should be able to retrieve the struggling fish with the help of that rope. All other rods you can buy on the market are different from fly rods. In fly rods, you will notice that the butt piece is missing. It allows you to cast the line freely, without having to worry about it getting tangled during casting. It is also important to note that fly rods need a heavy fly line. That will ensure the line is light, durable and strong, so you won't have to worry about it snapping. At number 2 is casting rods. When fishing in open waters or running streams, a casting fishing rod is designed to provide the best results. With the rod, you can place the bait precisely on the hook so that it is not a tedious task to lure the fish. If you try to buy a casting rod, you will have two options, bait caster rods and spin caster rods. You will notice that bait casting rods have multiple small eyes, particularly the one near the reel. For instance, it has numerous small eyes, one of which is in proximity to the reel in a spin casting rod. For the rod to produce the results you envision, you must use the large eye along with a spin casting reel. At number 3 is spinning rods. A fly fisherman who isn't experienced may not know the difference between a spinning rod and a casting rod. However, there is a substantial difference between the two. It is noticeable that a spinning rod is lighter and shorter than a casting rod not only because it is shorter, but also because it is lighter. There is a large eye on the rod as well. This reduces friction on the fishing line and keeps it from heating and snapping. An average spinning rod is 4 feet long, but longer rods can reach 9 feet in length. Depending on the length of the rod, the number of eyes varies as well. Thus, there are a minimum of 5 eyes and a maximum of 9. You'll also notice that the reel lies below the rod. Casting the line is more comfortable because the reel lies below the rod. Casting the hook and flying into the water is done with a simple drag and flick action. At number 4 is sea fishing rods. There is no question that sea fishing rods are intended for fishermen who enjoy fishing in the sea. Also, sea fishing rods are designed to be used from a boat or ship. The length of these rods varies. Short ones are used from boats, while long ones are used from ships. Therefore, now you know what to pack when you embark on your next luxury cruise. They come with thick and heavy-duty fishing lines since these rods are primarily used to catch large fish and game fish. The thick lines require large eyes by default. Hence, you will notice the rod has large eyes by default. You will also have to fight a lot with the fish when fishing at sea. The rods that are used for fishing at sea offer a superior keg. At number 5 is telescopic rods. Every experienced fisherman dreams of using telescopic rods. Telescopic rods are easy to transport in the car and are compact. As the rod does not try to create a new orifice in your face, you can transport them without any problems. Telescopic rods allow for easy extension as the name suggests. The rods are only 1 to 2 feet when closed, but when extended, they reach a length of 20 feet. Putting together the rod is quick and easy. Rods cannot have eyes because they are flexible and long. Therefore, they do not have eyes. The tip of the rod is highly flexible making it the ideal choice for fishermen who like to surf fish. If you want to use a fishing rod of this type, you must first learn how to cast. At number 6 is trolling rods. If you are looking for a fun-filled fishing experience, trolling rods are an excellent choice. As you lure the fish to the bait, you can play a cat and mouse game with it. Fishing rods of this type are primarily used to capture large game fish, as they are usually placed at the anterior part of the bait. The rods used for trolling are long, but not extremely thin as thin rods are prone to snapping when you are trying to catch game fish. As a result, these rods are thick, durable, and sturdy enough to defeat your baited fish. Trolling rods are not widely used today because spinning rods can accomplish the same results for fishermen. 
It would be prudent for you to add a trolling rod to your arsenal of fishing rods if you are a curious and ardent fisherman. At number 7 is Surf Rods. Fishing in the surf can be fun and exciting if you have the right fishing rod. This form of fishing is ideal for surf rods, which are intuitively the best. A surf rod is not only long so that you can cast far, but it is also thick and sturdy. This means that you won't have to worry about the surf moving. The rods range from 12 feet to 15 feet, and you can use these rods as spinning or casting rods. Surf rods come with a heavy sinker that keeps the line from bouncing or floating in the moving water when you cast into a wave. As a result of the long keg, you can cast using two hands. It is important to be experienced enough to use these long and agile fishing rods. At number 8 is Ice Fishing Rods. Ice fishing is a tranquil and relaxing activity. Fishing on the ice and in the cold water beneath you is enhanced by the cold and ice surrounding you. Ice fishing rods are necessary for enjoying fishing in the ice. In ice fishing, rods are typically small since ice holes are drilled in the ice. Usually, they are between 25 and 37 inches long. Short rods result in fewer eyes, which is exactly what you get when investing in ice fishing rods. The classic ice fishing rod does not have a reel. To do this, you will need two opposing hooks that are mounted on the rod. The line can then be wound manually, by hand. A fisherman can choose from different types of fishing rods for different types of fish and fishing locations, as you can see. It is prudent to invest in all types of fishing rods if you love fishing and want to do it to the fullest. No matter where you fish or what species of fish you catch, you'll always have the right rod on hand to enjoy a memorable fishing trip. So that sums up today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like on the video. And if you are new here hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, have a great day.